Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. Tonight, in my Bernie Mac voice, tonight... We got Candy Burris, Andy Cohen, and Riley Burris. Yes, we are gonna talk about how Andy Cohen shaded Candy. She didn't even see it coming, Lord. He just brought it out. And I said, well, Candy, you did it to yourself again. You have done it to yourself once again. Why would you bring Riley up to the clubhouse? Why would you do that, girl? You know she ain't of age to drink. And for you to insist to uh, let her be behind that bar, I don't know what you were thinking. Because we're still in awe and confusion of why you got Big Block up there. Big Russell, Big Block Spencer. Okay? Now, he ain't really that fat to be having breathing problems. Now, we'll give it to him if he have asthma. But, honey, when he was trying to explain himself, when Vlad was being messy and brought up your name, Candy Girl. Candy Girl. Yes, honey. Every man wants a woman. Yeah, that's how Candy be trying to get deep throat with it, okay? But, just trying to figure out candy why you waste your time why you waste your energy you know how child support is honey you know how it is now you didn't have block money when riley burris got in this world riley burris went through elementary middle school high school you weren't getting his money then what in the world how in the world you would think block was going to be willingly ready to pay child support and for him to even throw out there that you wouldn't let her come live with him <laughs> i like he stupid is and stupid does is that not right candy and you fell in love with this man and got impregnated i'm like girl did you not have birth control did you not buy the condoms just in case he forgot about them or you just wanted to feel the meat all up inside without any restrictions Honey, was the dick that good? That's all I want to know, was the dick that good? Evidently it was, because <laughs> you kept going back, even when you knew the man was married. But that's neither here nor there, because men lie just like women can lie as well, and say or make light of their current situation, you know. And I ain't getting on your candy, because I was in that situation a long time ago, when I was in my middle 20s, I believe it was middle or late 20s and i met this cat you know he was talking all good you know showing me proving and every all that kind of stuff but i knew it was something i knew it was something because you know you just have it in your spirit that is something uh why you can't go certain places why you can't meet until this certain time uh you can't call after this certain time you know it's just all not adding up but i caught on to it i caught on to it confronted him about it and of course he gonna come up with a story well we we married but we separated we we ain't getting along we we gonna get a divorce but it just take time because we got kids you know anybody want to hear that shit ain't nobody here. but you know i was already like four times into him in, and he would enter me if y'all get my drill but i was like ain't no dick that good ain't no dick that good to be serving yourself up as third or fourth place in the line of when the responsibility is where he gonna pay you an attention you know first you got god if you believe then you got the wife then you got the children so you you like fourth fourth person on that totem pole what were you thinking i know you young done having fun i know it and they got you i know again i got it so i understand it get it got it good okay but 
we must progress after that time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We got to pull up and just think about, you know, what's what. And then Block saying, you sitting around now calling his house, trying to talk to his wife about the situation. What 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 kind of shit was that going to get you through, Candy? What By you telling you the side shit, you calling up on the telephone, trying to tell her what Block been doing behind her back, which I'm pretty sure if she has women intuition, he not, she know what he was doing out there, okay? But, you know, maybe you were smelling yourself, or maybe Block got it wrong, and he just putting all this out here. That didn't happen. But like I said, we ain't going to judge nobody for their past, because everybody had a past, worry about their present, and, you know, let them go on into the future. Because we got to take the board out of our own eye before we try to judge somebody on their situation. So, we understand that. We understand. But, you know, when you put it out there on public, on Front Street, shit come up, everybody got to have a say in it. You know what I'm saying? It's just, that's, that's the way of life. But, girl, how you going to get mad at Andy Cohen? Well, he done shaded some of y'all, all of y'all. Well, I guess he really didn't shave you too much. So, he's just leaving you for the last. Because, from my understanding, you know, he shaded Nene. He shaded Kenya. Got on Shuri a little bit. Got on Portia here and there. So you were like, I guess, the princess. And now he's showing you that ain't nobody beyond his reach that he can touch. Me and Anna Cohen. Girl. Because for one thing, I wouldn't have brought Riley for one. Okay, I don't care if she would be. She would have stayed at her dorm or apartment we got going for her or whatever. I'll get back with you. Because I'm asking the same question. Where the hell is Todd? Where is Todd? Todd always follow you around. Like your puppy dog, okay? He always, you know, right there with you. And you in New York? I mean, was, uh, per se, was he uh, visiting with his uh, biological daughter, uh, Kayla? Was he, was he out there doing something like that? Because he should have been with you. He should have been behind the bar. Which I'm still not understanding. Well, did Riley get paid, honey? That's that's the other question. That's the main question. Did she get paid for sitting behind that bar? Not serving up no drinks to this, that, and the third. But that's what you should have been mad at. And influencing you to let your child go behind that bar and make like she's mixing up something. Well, she could have mixed up some, some soda water, some ginger ale. Everybody ain't got a drink when they come on Andy's show. Shit, let him drink, you know, and then you get to ask some questions for a change and see how he responds. But that whole ego can sit up there on New Year's Eve, uh, make other people feel like fools and everything. And he calling them everything but the child of God. He still have a job. And they still going to probably let him host the New Year's Eve uh, thing this year. Like, really? How does that play out? In a real world of real people in society, expecting big and better things from people. Girl, I'm like, and it could have asked me what color my doo-doo is, okay, when I shit it out. And I would have been like cool, calm, and collected and just gave him the information. Now, when he sat up there and you knew you had um got yourself in a very precarious situation. Okay, and you couldn't figure it all out because you probably was like on cloud nine, you know, Andy, your friend, and he wouldn't dare just embarrass you or anything because you got mad love for him. Remember, you said that, you said that, Cannon, you know, way back when, when everybody was talking about, you know, it's Nene doing this, it's Nene, you know, uh, putting too much on it. Is it really something? And you sat up there and like, well, you know, I don't have no uh, racial discrimination or no hostile work environment. You said, no, no, no. Okay, now he's shading you, Candy, and you got all kinds of feelings. You up in your feelings because he said something to your baby girl about your baby girl daddy. Okay, we know Block ain't shit. He wants shit when you mess with him and ain't going to be shit. Okay, his wife even know that, but she just got stuck up in the mix and probably got so many children by him. And she taking care of the other people's children. She'll say, fuck it, you know, because she probably got something on her side, too. He probably doing something behind his back. Okay, because he probably dumb enough not to realize. He think he's the cream of the crop and everything that's sweet. And you know what I'm saying. But lo and behold, lo and behold. <laughs> Child, he got your goat. Now, I would have thought after all this time, this man should not be able to get under your skin. He should not be able to provoke you to anger, 
to strike out at him in any form, shape, or fashion. But I'm like, girl, are you reminiscing about that day? Are you reminiscing about that day? Okay, was it that good girl? Did he turn you on and turn you out? That's why you so freaky to this day. Girl, give us the tea. That's what we want to know. Forget about this shit about uh, bringing up Riley and her daddy. See, I don't understand because Cynthia had the same shit with uh, Noelle. Noelle was trying to tell her mom how to live her life. And to tell you the truth, she was telling her, right. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, wait a minute. Now, Riley, bless her soul. She done got up to where she's, what, a sophomore? Be a junior, I guess, this year when they go back. Child, a girl eloquently said this, that, and the third about her daddy. And she said, case closed. <laughs> I'm like, damn, she's going to be a good-ass attorney. She just spoke what she had to speak. And it was it. It was no more question. And, and, and I think, no, I know Andy got the hint that Riley ain't the one. Okay? And I'm like, God damn. See what I'm saying? Candy. Your baby girl had to get a grown-ass man straight about what she feel and what she don't feel about her biological dad. And she didn't blink on it. I said, God damn, that's what I'm talking about, Riley. That's what I'm talking about. So you might got a little your daddy in you whether you, wanna, whether you want to recognize it or not. And you got your mama hustle mentality. So I think it's a, a good package because he definitely instills some uh, fear. In you, meaning you done picked up on how you could stand in your own and you wish a eagle would try to mess with you and yours. You know what I'm saying? Because you I mean you just look at you and you like, you about that life. Don't let her have to get those hands now because she'll come with it very quietly and you'll be you'll be uh sorely surprised that this would even came from Riley. So I think she gets that that look from Block. And that's a good thing because sometimes women got to be feeling and looking kind of tough depending on what situations they in. Wishing a person would try to ask. You know what I'm saying? They're going to get surprisingly shocked when, they, when you come with the fire. Ain't a right rider. I know it. Like, girl, I saw you. I saw you, girl. But your mama, she just too emotional. She just, uh, she all over the place. I'm like, girl, how is it that your, what's she about 19, 20 now? 20? Nine, well, let's say 20. She's showing up and showing out on your ass. And you sitting up there having an the attitude with Andy on why he said something about your baby daddy. I'm like, girl, Candace, sit your ass down somewhere. Somewhere, some, wait a minute, somehow, somewhere, Riley got the ingredients she needed to face this world with total confidence. I don't know if it all came from you. It might have came from Mama Joyce on Bertha. I'm pretty sure Aunt Bertha come with the comeback too. And she's been hanging around her family members. She's been loving. To, Mama Joyce is a pack. She's a pack whistle, honey. She be re ready, lock loaded, and ready to spray and be looking at you trying to cuss you out and spraying the bullets at the same damn time. So she probably got that from Mama Joyce too. So, Candy, you don't really need to worry about your baby girl riding. The issue is not whether Block will give her the money or not. I'm going to tell you, hell no, nah, it ain't come from him. He had to go to the gray house, gray yard, before he give up some money, calling himself going to give it a ride. Okay? So, you might well just 86 that idea and be glad the Lord put you in a position where you can provide for your child. And your child has seen how you taking care of her and giving her a definitely nice lifestyle whether one day she can repay that favor back to you to show you how she is and how she's capable of creating a stable stream of income and something she's doing in her profession that she loves you see what i'm saying girl so be blessed and take that as the example don't worry about your past because it don't predict your future okay it don't predict your future so, Candy, you dropped the ball on that. You, 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 you supposed to be playing it like a G. You know what I'm saying? You're going on interviews and saying all this kind of shit. That's why I say you got a lot to learn, girl. Baby girl, you got a lot to learn. Don't, you don't show your hand, honey. You don't show your hand. It might have upset at you a little bit. But it wouldn't show while I'm giving out interviews to people. Because that shit going to get back to Andy. And then you're just going to be another number 
on his belt that he's going to have to continue making a fool out of. You see what I'm saying? I don't know why he did what he did, but it was a reason. You can best believe that. It was a reason. And I have to say, you know how Phaedra has been appearing here and there? Because who would have thought she would have made a special appearance in Dubai? Okay. And then she's on that ultimate girl's trip. Honey, the writing may be on the wall. You may be going out the door. Not necessarily that they're throwing you out, but, but more so they're easing you out. Because you probably are the highest paid on Real Housewives of Atlanta. And they're probably trying to bring some more people in. Because I'm pretty sure what you got, they can bring five more people in. You know, at the base level. And they can be good because you got five different more people giving us five different more storylines versus your one where you ain't really giving us nothing but a bone collector type of situation. Do we want to see a bone collector type of situation? Hell no. Nah, we're kind of tired of it if you want to know the truth, the truth of the matter it is because we got Sheree. She's doing a wonderful job. She's always been known as the bone collector. It is cute. All right. But the rest of the stuff that you're kind of giving us, nah, we don't want, we don't want, we don't want. But that's all I have for this video, guys. I had to come by and check Candy Chin Check her a little bit to tell her to grow the fuck up. And I always stay on time. I always be ready to go even when nobody ain't asking you to come along. But when it comes to the point they say, come on, you already be ready to go. Because you're already a lot loaded and ready to spray. You see what I'm saying? But. It's just here what it is. Candy slipped on that when she wasn't expecting it. But see, that's what I'm saying, Candy. Don't ever, ever think everybody is for you, girl. Don't ever think that everybody's for you. And where the hell Todd was? Well, I see, I'm always asking where the men at when they should be present when shit going down. See, they ain't never always there. That's why you got to depend on you, yourself, and I. Me, myself, and I. That's all I got in the end. It's what I found out. That's Beyonce, girl. You, yourself, and I. That's what you got. And the Lord. But I'll see y'all next video, guys. Bye-bye.